the sexual secret that all women crave in the bedroom. Now, this video is going to be covering just the core thing I feel like femininity requires within a romantic setting within the masculine man she's interacting with to allow herself to fully open to the experience of what sex is and can be. A lot of people don't actually allow themselves to experience the heightened sexual arousal within the bedroom due to the very fact that we are not undressing each other emotionally beforehand. We are undressing our clothes, but perhaps what we need to embody is the very energetics that allow each other to get turned on in the first place. Because looks and appearance can only do so much. It truly is the energetic connection you guys have, the chemistry that truly does matter and that ignites that flame within the bedroom. That is the lighter to a flame. The lighter is your guys' chemistry. The flame is the sexual appeal that you guys bring forward that allows each other to be in the bedroom with each other in the first place due to attraction. But the secret all women crave within men is delicate dominance. Now, what is delicate dominance, Maya? Because it's sounding a little contradicting. It's either, what, do they want me to be forceful or gentle with them? What is it? And it's both. It's a combination of giving and taking when it comes to not only relationships, sexual interactions, life in general. It's that natural flow of give and take, contraction, expansion. And that's what happens in a very powerful way within the bedroom when chemistry is there in the first place. Now, chemistry is something that happens as well based upon your guys' energetic match to one another. And what a woman craves within men, even if she can't admit to it, is a level of secure dominance. Secure dominance where the dominant aspect of a man that's coming forward isn't out of a fear, need of control for the woman. It is actually coming from a place of true certainty for what he is wanting. And getting back on track to the, the delicate dominance is giving a woman a safe container to open to you first. Instead of forcing dominance right away, um, it can be sexy for a woman to think about. But all in all, our bodies are the ones who are reacting to it or reacting to one another. When a man gets a boner, it's due to the fact that he's aroused by a woman and women get aroused in a very different way. And it actually comes from how you are entering the bedroom in the first place. So a man who has a delicate touch in the beginning, allowing a woman to fully open to him instead of, you know, forceful penetration, but also forceful uh, actions in the beginning can naturally make a woman's body close to a man, even if she's not wanting it. Um, it's just the matter of you're not giving her the space to attune to you. We need to attune to one another if we actually want to experience a heightened orgasm. And a lot of people don't experience heightened orgasms, especially women, because men are, I think, brought up within porn that women just want it hard and rough and they want to get straight to the point and all that. And I mean, that can be sexually stimulating to a man to think about that and maybe to a woman as well. But all in all, the delicacy that you bring forward in entering the bedroom first in a way that can be like provocative, it can be sexy, it can be uh, pre-planned in a way that you are showing her that you have her best interest in mind that allows you both to actually enter greater freedom of where you guys can kind of push past each other's boundaries in a healthy way when it comes to the sexual play that goes on while interacting with an intercourse. And I know this video topic is a little different than what I usually do, but I really want to give men, you know, a, uh, some insight here because I think there's a lot of misconceptions that happen in regards to sex that I think men are just programmed to be brought up while watching porn and then bringing what they've learned in porn into the bedroom and porn is not real so it doesn't set you guys up for success which is why I think hearing it from a woman's perspective to help you guys out when it comes to the women you are having sex with and uh, I think sex is such a beautiful thing that every single human being can allow themselves to enter into. But with that being said, I do believe your discernment of who you sleep with is important because I think it even allows a person to access greater sexual liberation through having one partner to experience sex with. 
and to lift one another up to the energetics that an orgasm can provide a human being, which is actually really healing. Having an orgasm is a lot of healing energy. It's rising you both up to your highest energetics, your highest energetics that naturally have the ability to heal a person when it's coming from centered union. Centered union in a sexual container is really important because it's union with your partner. You guys aren't kind of on opposite teams. You're together working for a goal. You know, it's not one person overdoing it and the other person falling behind. It's a dance that creates a rhythmic flow within how you move and how you interact with her and, and her interact with you. Now, to bring forward the dominance aspect in this conversation is really important because women hate to break it to the women who don't believe this, but a woman has this desire to be dominated by a man in a way that doesn't, in a way that isn't unhealthy, that is, you know, trying to control a woman and to go against her, her greatest good. It's actually there to lead a woman and a woman loves leadership within men within a man. So a man who can lead in the bedroom that can allow a woman to surrender first. So he, so she can then trust his leadership of whatever you are wanting to do in the bedroom can allow that woman to actually trust you and open to you and allow like that kind of ocean to flow out because you're actually, because you have her best interest in mind. And that dominance that a man can bring forward is so powerful. It's something that's felt by women, especially when it's uh, in a healthy way that's controlled by you. You have control over your emotional states is so sexy because it allows you guys to both kind of reach what can be due to the fact you're not being controlled by something that can cause danger. But you being able to control your emotions, even in the terms of control within the bedroom matters. So the delicate dominance is actually there to allow you guys to increase your guys' sexual potential within reaching that orgasm because you are starting off with the delicacy that she requires to open to you, allowing you to then dominate her in a way that is going to bring forward the dance of polarity to surrender and to be dominated, to surrender to a man's dominance to let go of your own restraints, your own stress, your own whatever limiting limit, limitations in the bedroom and allowing there to be zero limitation due to the fact that you have shown yourself you are a leader. You assert dominance in a sexual way that allows her to open to what you have in mind in the bedroom. And Obviously, this is my perception of it, and maybe some women disagree with me, but I would say it's uh, in femininity to want to have some sort of assertion, dominance, and force. A man can bring forward in a way, though, that allows her to feel safe within it, and that can be really healing to a woman as well. So I hope this video helped you. I hope I gave you guys some answers. Um, Please be aware that porn is fake. I just want to mention that because I feel like a lot of people learn from porn. It's not setting you guys up to actually climax together to the sexual potential that can be fostered within the bedroom through your guys' very own energetics, having a harmony within what you guys are both bringing forward. Too much dominance equals not enough surrender from a woman. Too much delicacy doesn't allow a woman to be sexually stimulated by your masculinity that naturally turns a woman on. So it's a balance. And I believe this is something that every single man should know is start slow and build it up and build it up and build it up. And then you guys can reach the potential of what an orgasm can be, which is healing and um, it's beautiful. So I want to bring more sacredness to sex too and talking about it in a way that's not like degrading anyone. It's like bringing us back into our sacredness. So I hope this video helped you with that. And uh, without further ado, if you guys are wanting any one-on-one -on -one coaching with me when it comes to dating, relationships, life, um, porn addiction, whatever it is, uh, I'm all ears for it. And I'm ready to assist you guys in the ways that can best serve you and each other. 
So without further ado, hit the subscribe button, give it a like, and I will see you in my next video.